Hello everybody! Welcome to our first how-to tutorial where we will show you the Navis plugin for Autodesk Revit. Today we would like to show you first how to connect your Revit model to Navis Indoor Viewer, second how to find a location in Indoor Viewer from your Revit model, and third how to take a measurement in Indoor Viewer in order to compare the BIM model with the reality. For this tutorial, we are going to use the Golden Nugget Revit model offered by Autodesk. You can download the Golden Nugget project from the official Autodesk website for free. Navis has scanned part of this building with the M3 trolley and you can have free access to the indoor viewer instance at de.navis.com slash iv.goldennugget. So let's get started. The first step is to open your Golden Nugget Revit project. On the ribbon bar, you can see the Navis plugin. If this tab does not exist in your Revit software, make sure that you have followed the installation steps correctly. If you need assistance with installation, please contact revit at navis.com. For a better overview of the project, let's switch to a 2D floor plan view. As a next step, click on Navis and then Indoor Viewer Settings. Here, you have to enter the instance address and, if necessary, the credentials. For this tutorial, only the instance URL is required. Please fill in the URL name and then click Connect. If the connection succeeds, you are sent to the tab Coordinate Systems. In this tab, a coordinate system transformation must be selected in order to connect the Revit model with the datasets in Indoor Viewer. For this tutorial, we will check the box, use an existing transformation, and select the Golden Nugget transformation from the drop-down list. Click the Apply button and start using the plugin. Once the Indoor Viewer settings are set up correctly, you can open the connected instance in Autodesk Revit. The indoor viewer icons might be grayed out, but you can activate them by clicking on them. You can resize and move the indoor viewer window to help you visualize both the BIM model and the indoor viewer instance. Once you are connected to an indoor viewer instance and you have your transformation set up, you can find any location in indoor viewer directly from your Revit model. First, click on Locate in Indoor Viewer, and then pick a point on the floor plan. The instance moves to that location, and you can see a 360-degree panorama view of the real building. Moreover, you can switch to a floor plan view on a different level. Again, by picking a point on the floor plan, the instance automatically changes location and moves to the correct floor. In order to compare the as-is with the as-built information, you may need to take a measurement both in the Revit model and in the indoor viewer. To do this, first you have to find the location where you need to take a measurement in the indoor viewer instance. Now, you can right-click on a point and select Start Measurement. You can drag your mouse around and the measurement tape will follow the cursor. At the end, just right click and select End Measurement. You can also measure the same distance in your Revit model by using the Revit Dimension tool. That's all. Thanks for watching the first how to tutorial for Autodesk Revit.